Hello. Um, I want to talk to you today about uh, one of my favourite um, 35mm uh, SLR film cameras. Um, uh, but first I want to tell you a little story. I was, for years and years, I um, uh, been taking black and white pictures with my fav one of my very favourite cameras, the uh, good old Pentax uh, Spotmatic, uh, which I took uh, around, carried around me for many, many years, um, until sadly um, the shutter broke. Uh, the cloth shutter um, mangled itself up um, to a state where it was pretty much irreparable, which is a, a great loss to me. So um, I started looking around for an alternative camera. Um, and one of the things that I was looking for was um, a, a, a metal um, shutter, a, a new, more modern metal shutter with, with an electronic control, um, but also a, a reliable um, light meter. Because one of the things with these older uh, CDS cameras is that the, um, the, the meter tends to degrade over time, over 30. 40, 50 years, um, it tends to degrade somewhat um, and needs adjusting. So I started looking, um, and to cut a long story very short, um, the thing I came up with was the Practica uh, B200. Um, for a number of reasons, um, mostly because it had a metal shutter. Um, uh, obviously, this was this camera uh, started manufacture about 1979, by which time metal shutters have become the standard. Um, so that was, uh, many cameras had the same. But importantly with this camera is that it had uh, a gallium arsenide um, photo uh, diode uh, for the light meter. And the gallium arsenide photodiodes are um, probably among the best photodiodes uh, that, that are were then available and currently still are available. Gallium arsenide uh, is used for a lot of scientific, medical, uh, military um, uh, light sensing. Um, but it's very expensive, and so for uh, a short time, some cameras used it. Um, but then uh, most cameras uh, of the 80s uh, switched over to silicon diodes, which are as accurate, or nearly as accurate, um, fast, um, but a lot cheaper. So this camera has the silicon uh, gallium arsenide, sorry, the gallium arsenide photodiode, um, so it's very fast and very accurate. So for those reasons, I, uh, I, I settled on this camera to replace my Spotmatic. The other reasons are that it's very well featured. Um, for uh, its, um, its era, uh, it's probably one of the best featured cameras uh, available on the market, um, uh, competing and, to a, in a certain sense, outstripping uh, its rivals of the time, the uh, um, Pentax uh, ME Super, the uh, Olympus OM2, and uh, some of the earlier uh, Minolta um, X, XG series. Um, it's fully featured. It has all of the features that uh, some of those cameras lack. Um, so specifically, it has uh, its, its uh, automatic and manual, semi-automatic, uh, automatic aperture control and uh, manual. It has um, uh, Focus, uh, sorry, exposure compensation dial. It has it's significantly uh, a memory lock, so you can you can lock the uh, the exposure settings um, and then move away to a new subject. Um, and it also has um, a uh, uh, preview depth of field preview button. So it has everything that it, that you need on a camera like this. Um, one of the other things uh, I was looking for um, with replacing my Spotmatic was, of course, the ability to use um, a lot of my old, um, uh, rather excellent uh, uh, M42 screw lenses. Um, and one of the things that was significant about the Practica series was uh, the, although specific to Practica, the PB mount, um, there was a readily available um, adapter, if I can find it, here we go. Um, which would allow an easy switch to, um, if I can get this on, to my uh, M42 
uh, lenses, and I've got an old, uh, one of my favourites, a Shinon 50mm here, M M42 lens, um, which will now just easily fit onto the Practica um, without interfering with uh, sort of the, the feel of the camera too much. Um, it has a little electronic gizmo here, which allows it to still have full metering on the camera. So uh, I can meter um, through the lens uh, with all of the electronics uh, through the viewfinder in exactly the same way as I would be able to with uh, a regular PB uh, Penta, uh, Pentacom Practica uh, lens. So that was, uh, with all those features combined, this, make, this has made this camera the one for me uh, to replace my Spotmatic. And um, I've used it uh, a lot and it's proved to be thoroughly reliable um, and pretty much just an excellent camera. And as I say, better uh, in some respects than the, the Pentax ME Super and the Olympus OM2, both of which I find a little small. This is um, not particularly large, uh, I'll show you. Uh, direct comparison here's the OM2 and although slightly smaller um, they're about the same size um, and I think the Olympus is actually slightly heavier um, but it lacks depth of field preview um, it doesn't have the same degree of um, uh, manual control I mean it is an automatic and manual camera but I find this a bit fiddly I don't know why so um, this is it, this is the, 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 the Practica B200. I also like the skin, the sort of slightly rugged skin, and it just feels nice in my hand, and it feels the right sort of weight for me, um, and uh, works very well. Now, on the uh, open market, this, uh, this particular camera uh, commands a reasonable price these days, because it is recognised as being uh, a fine camera. Um, but what is generally not known, it seems to me, is that the sister camera, the Practica BCX, is in all respects identical to the B200. Um, it's the same camera. Uh, and the only reason it looks different is because this was styled for the European market, whereas this was styled for the, uh, the Russian and the, and the Eastern European markets. Um, and it was just considered that the silver top was, was the, the thing to have at the time. So this camera was redesigned and to this, this style, but it's the same camera. Um, so all BCXs are, have the same, exactly the same features as the B200s. So that's pretty much it. Oh, the other thing uh, I particularly like about um, Practica series generally is the um, diagonal um, focusing screen as the Pentacon lenses uh, and, the, and the Practica um, cameras have a, a, a diagonal screen which I'll try and uh, uh, put a little insert in for you to um, allow focusing uh, and it's basically I find it a lot more accurate a lot easier to use than the uh, uh, many horizontal split screen <coughs> focusing uh, systems uh, basically because with a horizontal sc split screen you have to find a vertical um, and oftentimes uh, it, it, you either can't find a vertical or um, uh, or in you know dull lighting or, or landscape situations where um, verticals are not available it makes it quite hard to focus um, whereas with a diagonal system regardless you will always find uh, a vertical or, 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 or a horizontal or uh, because it's diagonal pretty much anything in any uh, plane can be focused on uh, using the diagonal system. So I find it a lot easier to get an accurate focus on. And this is one of the particular things I like about Practica cameras generally, uh, is its ability to focus easily. All of the other features aside. Um, um, the lenses, the Pentacon lenses, um, are excellent lenses. They um, Originally, um, uh, before um, Pentacon Group was formed in 1968, uh, the lenses for Pentacon uh, for, for Practica were made by uh, Mayer Optic Gerlitz, which is a, a very fine and very well-known German um, lens manufacturer. Um, and they, they were incorporated into the Pentagon Group 
uh, and continue to make the lenses. So Pentacon lenses are very good lenses um, and are available very cheaply, um, as are um, the um, Practica series cameras generally, uh, but specifically the uh, BCX still uh, are available uh, at very low prices. So um, because the BCX is identical to the B200 uh, in, in, in all respects, um, it's the same camera. Um, if you're looking for uh, a low cost uh, entry into um, the 35 millimeter film system with uh, a very finely specified camera and excellent lenses, then you could do a lot worse than go for a, a, a Practica B200 or um, BCX. Um, and uh, there are a lot of Pentacon uh, lenses available. Um, and as I said earlier, the, say the, the conversion to um, older um, M42 lenses is, is also very simple uh, and straightforward. So yeah, um, an excellent camera all round and um, well worth looking out for, I would say. A uh, quick view of the um, diagonal focusing uh, that I mentioned. Um, if you can probably make it out, if I just put, show you there, you can see um, in there is the diagonal um, focusing screen, um, which, as I say, I find uh, easier to use than, than, a, than a horizontal split screen. Uh, also, I'm going to try and give you an indication of the uh, LED system uh, in the viewfinder, if we could just about make it out. Um, here I've got the um, uh, PB to M42 adapter on, um, and you hopefully can see that if I um, get it in there somewhere, you can see, oh, there we go, there's the lights, and if I move the aperture, it's moving up and down. And as you can see, the lights are responding very rapidly and I know from experience uh, very accurately. Thank you for watching.